Hello everyone, Morp here, and welcome to my complete guide on Under Armour in Fallout 76. In this guide, I will cover the comparison of all the different types, give you the basic information, and then you can click down below and go category by category and get the, the full complete information on how to craft them and how to get the mods for each of the different types. If you do like this type of content, please make sure to click like and subscribe and click the notification bell for more Fallout content. Alright, so there are eight different categories of Under Armour in the game, and each one of these will give you a different amount of defense, as well as a different combination of special points. Now, these Under Armours can be worn underneath everything that you're wearing. They fit underneath your armor, and if you happen to wear any cosmetic apparel over everything, you'll still be able to wear it underneath. They will not work while you're in power armor, or if you happen to put on a hazmat suit or like the Chinese stealth armor, you will not be able to wear that at the same time. All right, now you can see here as they're separated by the actual totals of the numbers that they give you, that they're kind of in two little groups with the one outlier of Secret Service at the top. There's the group that gave you 27 combined defense points and five specials, and the other group of 15 defense and seven specials. And now you can see here in the actual list here, you can basically go off of the needs that you have. If you happen to need more strength or more perception, or if you want more intelligence, you can use this little grid here to choose what you want. Now, if you can see the Secret Service with its high amount of combined numbers makes the bottom four pretty much redundant and not needed, unless you specifically wanted the extra five fire resistance from Civil Engineer, or the Marine Under Armour to have the resistance to waterborne hazards. All right, and obviously it can be very subjective with your personal needs, but I am going to rank them in the order that I think they are of just being awesome. So number one is no brainer. It's going to be Secret Service with the highest amount of defense combined and the highest amount of special points added. It basically makes a big section of the other ones redundant with how awesome it is. The four strengths giving you going to give you uh, more melee damage and 20 more carry weight. The endurance can give you 20 more health. Perception is going to be helping you in VATS and detecting people. And it's just an all around great choice. And it's easy to get with being sold by Minerva for cheap. And rock and roll. That is definitely going to be a great choice for anyone. Now for me, personally, my number one that I actually use is going to be the Raider Under Armour. Now this is giving all the stats specifically geared towards my Bloodied Stealth Commando build. That one luck is really vital in my, my build, helping me get it to that 33 luck needed. And the agility and the perception are helping me sneak around and hit some people in vats and be just generally awesome. That is my number one personal one that I always wear. Now number three is going to be the casual lining under armor with the lowest per stat of damage resistance with five each. But this is the only under armor that has an increase to charisma, which is nice for selling stuff to vendors. And the reason that everyone does want this under armor is the three intelligence, which gives you the most amount of experience gain that you can have. And the one luck is also really nice. Now, number four, I have the Vault Tech. This one is the only one that has two luck. So it's the most amount of luck that you can get. So if you do have a very specific build that uh, you need to get that 25 luck, or if you need that 33 luck, you know, this can really help you get there. So it's a really great choice. So now the bottom four are kind of lumped here together, but we do have the Brotherhood of Steel, which I have ranked up a little bit more because of the fact that both of the special points, um, the endurance and the strength seem to really go together a little bit better for melee and stuff. And next, the Civil Engineer is the only one that actually has fire resistance, which is really nice. Otherwise, the combined stats are a little bit lower um, to accommodate that fire. Yeah, the Enclave Operative here is uh, not too bad. It's still got the uh, combined of 27 with the 3 strength, which is nice, and uh, 2 perception. But uh, it's still lower on the list for me. And at the very bottom, I have the Marine Under Armour, which has... Uh, still has the 27 and the um, the 2, 1, and 2. Now this one does have a trade-off. It's going to weigh double, but it will also have the immunity to uh, waterborne hazards. So it can be a choice for you if you want it. Alright, now you can click below or just keep watching. And I am going to go category by category and show detailed information on how to obtain these Under Armours 
as well as the modifications for them all. All right, we're going to start off with the Secret Service Under Armour. That looks kind of cool, but this is the highest stats that you can get for Under Armour with the 45 combined um, resistances, as well as the 10 special points. Now, you can pause here, but I'm going to go over all of the crafting costs for everything lower before we get to the shielded. And uh, yeah, make sure that you do check out Minerva to get the plans for the shielded lining Under Armour and a rock and roll here. So for the shielded lining, it's going to require four fluorescent flux, 15 circuitry, and 11 ballistic fiber. So a little bit tricky to get some of those, but you can figure that out. So here we go on how to get the plans for it. If you don't want to go for Minerva and you've completed the Wastelander DLC to get access to regs down in Vault 79. You see I'm making my way down here. The regs is off to the left. Now I'm also including a link in the description to Nuka Knights, which has a great page on stats for Minerva. And I've included the price with the Minerva discount down in the bottom there. But here you go. All right, next up we have the Raider Under Armour, which is the one that I use. We have the Harness, Long Johns, Raider Leathers, and Rogue Leathers. Now I'm a Bloodied Stealth Commando build, so this is my go-to, and uh, they look kind of cool. So you can actually buy them, the Harness and the Long Johns, from Cunningham inside the mall. They're really cheap. But if you would like to actually buy the plan for them, you can go to any Raider vendor in the game and buy them. You can also get them from treasure map locations in the Ash Heap, Savage Divide, the Mire, and Cranberry Bog. The material cost that is used to actually make them, they're all pretty cheap. Some leather, some cloth. They have different um, amounts of stuff that they need for each of them. And so for the treated and the resistance under armor you can go to the raider vendor inside the mall you'll have to buy one learn it and then server hop and then when you come back he will have the next level up for you and uh here i will show you if you want to pause here what the material cost for the bottom ones obviously i suggest that uh you try to get the shielded even though the shielded is a little bit tricky it used to be really hard to get but now with the mutated party packs uh, you can get them easily. Well, I feel a lot of people just throw them on the ground these days. Uh, but you also do have a small chance of getting them from the Signal Strength quest. Well, here are the material costs. We have 4 fluorescent flux, 23 cork, and 11 ballistic fiber. Alright, next up we have the casual lining under armor, which goes on the flannel shirt and jeans, the undershirt and jeans, which are craftable, and the military fatigues, which you can go and pick up for free. Now this Under Armour gives the 3 Intelligence, the 3 Charisma, and 1 Luck, and it's awesome. You can go and buy the flannel shirt and jeans from Cunningham inside the mall. The Military Fatigues, you can go to Site Bravo here, and you can see it's up on a shelf. Easy to pick up. So now you can also go and get the plans for the flannel shirt and jeans and the undershirt and jeans from doing treasure maps uh, across the map, uh, but the best chance to get them is from the mire. And uh, here are the crafting materials for the flannel shirt and jeans and the undershirt and jeans, which are really cheap. So to get the mods, you can go into the mall. You can actually buy the treated from one vendor, then go to the other vendor and buy the re resilient. At this point, you have to server hop and you can get the protective lining. Now, the shielded lining is a pain to get. You can only get it from completing the daily in the mire called Queen of the Hunt. Now, the plan itself is tradable. So that you can, uh, you can rock and roll and buy it if somebody's going to part with it. But uh, anyway, here is the material cost for all of the different uh, lower mods. I do suggest you do the shielding if you can get a hold of it. And anyone can put, anyone that has the plan can put the lining on it for you for any of these mods. So rock and roll. All right, now we have the Vault Tech jumpsuit, which you actually get right directly out of the vault. You can keep the one that you get there, or you can get a plans to make these different ones. And this is the Under Armour that has plus two luck, the only one that has that high, which is really nice. To get the uh, Vault 76 jumpsuit or the Vault Tech University jumpsuit, you can get them from doing treasure maps or randomly throughout the, the map. The Vault 94 is from Daily Ops, and the Vault 51, if you can find somebody selling it, uh, came from the holiday gifts in previous years. Now, to get the mods, you have to complete the Overseer's Journey, one of the main quests. 
<laughs> you'll go to these four different locations, the firehouse, uh, to get the first one. And I'll have a full link in the description on doing all these. Next up, you're going to go to Camp Venture. And once you make your way inside, you will get it from the Overseer's Cache right here. Alright, next up, we have Fort Defiance. I will have a link to my Asylum Red Dress and Fort Defiance guide to show you how to get in here if you haven't completed uh, the full quest. There's a way that you can wiggle around if you don't have access to the door. Alright, and for the Shield of Lightning, you can go to the silos and uh, pick it up from the Overseer's Cache here. I will link a little video here showing where to grab the three. And uh, yeah, this is a really great jumpsuit. It has the lowest total stats with five each, but it does have a nice variety and the two luck is really sweet, plus the two intelligence, so it's a good option. All right, here is the stats for the crafting of the different kinds. Well, they're all pretty cheap here. All right, for the mods, now you can pause here if you want to check the lower one. But for the shielded lining, it's going to take 4 Cobalt Flux, some gold, and 11 Ballistic Fiber. Next we have the Brotherhood Under Armor with the Fatigues, the Soldier, the Knight, and the Officer. Now this lining sports 2 Strength and 3 Endurance, which is a nice alternative to Secret Service if you don't have access yet. To get the Military Fatigues, you can actually get them for free coming to the Thunder Mountain Power Plant. And you'll veer in here to this first tent to the right, and they're just sitting right on the ground. Now to get the plants for the other three, you can get them just all around the map on the Cranberry Bog just sitting on stuff. Or you can do some treasure maps and get them from here. And for the crafting materials, you can see they're pretty cheap here. You can pause there. Now to get the mods, you're going to come to the Brotherhood vendor inside the mall. You will buy the treated lining first. Once you buy it and learn it, you can server hop again and then he will now have the resistance. For the protective and the shielded, you actually have to finish the Defiance has Fallen to get the protective lining. And for the shielded, once you've completed that storyline, you can come and turn in technical data for a chance to get that one. Now here, you can pause for the material cost for the lower ones, but the uh, shielded lining is going to cost you 4 Violet Flux, 15 Nuclear Material, and 11 Ballistic Fiber. And now we have the Civil Engineer Under Armor, which is the only armor that actually has fire resistance. The other stats are kind of low, otherwise if you don't want the fire resistance, I would suggest just getting a Secret Service. But anyway, to get this plan, you can come to Giuseppe in the Refuge. You can buy the Under Armor plan there. Uh, you can also buy the other linings, or you can just directly buy the Shielded lining. And uh, here are the material costs, if you want to pause there. Here are the material costs for all the lower ones. You want to pause as well i do suggest you just go directly to the shielded lining and the shielded lining is going to cost you four fluorescent flux 15 circuitry and 11 ballistic fiber all right now we have the enclave or the operative under armor with the forest and the urban both are purchasable now this under armor has the second highest energy resistance with 13 and three strength and two perception now, if you have access to the White Springs Bunker, you can come in here and buy them both for pretty cheap. While you're here, you can buy the Treated Lighting, the Resistance Lighting, and the Protective. And each of these you have to server hop because it's only going to be selling one at a time. To get the Shielded Lighting, you're going to come to Tanagra Town. And from in here, there's going to be a building off in the distance. And you're going to make your way around back. And there will be a door with a code. You're going to enter the code in here code is going to be 748250 and once you get in here you will be able to grab the shielded plan that is just sitting right here now here the material costs you can pause the lower ones i suggest obviously you use the shielding and it is 18 ultrasight 11 ballistic fiber and four crimson flux now we have the marine under armor that goes on the marine wetsuit this weighs double, but you get resistance to waterborne hazards, which is kind of nice. It has two strength, one perception, and two endurance. You can get the plan laying all around the map, um, but the best chance is to get it from the treasure maps in Cranberry Bog. The Brotherhood vendor sells the treated and the resistance lining. You will have to do some server hops to get the vendor to show it. The quest. Uh, novice of Mysteries and the Census Violence have a chance to give you the plans. Otherwise, just get them from the mutated party packs. 
Now here are the material costs. You can pause for the lower mod costs. And I do suggest that you just go straight to the shielded lining. And the material costs for it are 4 forest and flux, 15 circuitry, and 11 ballistic fiber. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was really helpful to you. Make sure to click like and subscribe and click the notification bell for more content. You can also click here for a couple more guides that I've done for you. And definitely make sure to go down in the description and click the link to our Discord to come hang out with us. As well as the links to a bunch of the information that I posted in this guide. And we will see you out in the wasteland.